Most people in America are used to knowing who their assailants are, especially in the situation of a sexual misconduct, a sexual rape, or some sort of inappropriate mishandling by people in a community. What's amazing is how police officers are allowing, aiding, and abetting the sexual assault of a homeless man in our community. And they're doing that through the help of security guards at different companies, and openly they're doing it with the help of community. In life, we have the right to say no to being touched, but there is a stalking man that works in a retail shop that feels that he doesn't have to hear no, that he will solicit people to ruin food, and a black couple came into the restaurant I was buying my food at last night and interfered, I believe, with the receipt of quality food. And I know this on the facts that they didn't pick up any food after they walked around everybody in line, waited near the cashier, and then left in good time. There's always a foolish person who will take in some gift for someone else to participate in their harm. A white man from Target may be liable now for his stupidity and lack of charm. At no time do you have the right to touch anyone, sir, in America, even on your break or your dinner going home. But my guess is your wife is no longer with you because of your foolishness in your home. In America, we have rights to speak the truth about what we've experienced, what we've seen, what we've observed. Whether the facts are fully playing out is not necessarily important if someone is being harmed. At some point, the officers of America have to decide, do they report to the president, Joe Biden, and his policies, or do they report to Obama, a past president who did not do things correctly? In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. The departing President Trump was fired on the job. You'd think he would know what that word means, but he's not retired very carefully. But in America, we don't typically allow a president of a company to continue to linger in the shadows and linger publicly on TV, complaining about his loss of job. Most presidents that are fired in corporations would simply move on and do something else.